So, Kelly joins us now. We appreciate your time, of course, with uh, the championship weekend in store. And, and now this is two straight Final Fours here for your program. I mean, what do you think ha has sort of led to that over these last couple of years, Coach? You know, it, it's been a process. I mean, I think we've been building this back up for a number of years, and there's a lot of alums that, you know, didn't get to go to the Final Four but really have contributed to this. And... Um, you know, we we were disappointed with our last Final Four performance, so we're really excited to be back here and competing hard and, and giving our best effort forth. Yeah, you talk about sort of building back. I mean, at, before 2019, this, that was your first one since 2014, sort of like a lull in there. Was there a change in your philosophy at all? Was there anything that you sort of tweaked a little bit to sort of get back to that level that you had established at Northwestern for a long time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that, um, you know, when we started the program, we, we built it from scratch. And, you know, when you have success and sustain success, you know, it's, it's difficult to continue that. Um, and so I think we were trying to continue, continue. And then, you know, at one point we just said, okay, we got to, we got to regroup, rethink things, reinvent ourselves. And, um, you know, that's what we've done. And we've been kind of building it back up ever since. And mm. you know, this has kind of been the, the fruits of our labor. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you obviously were outstanding all season long. And uh, that sort of leads me to Izzy Skane. And you've had so many sort of dynamic sort you know, over the years, especially since you, you started the program of players that have come out and, and sort of taken the limelight. What is it about the program and your system that's an, enabled some of these athletes to really flourish? Well, I think that, you know, anytime you have a great group, um, you know, they'll pick one or two people and, and give them attention. And obviously Izzy has just soared this year. She's, she's been amazing at every turn. And I think that um, her success is a, is a byproduct of the group entirety. And, you know, we, we really have worked hard to create great chemistry on the offensive end and, and uh, you know, on the draw controls and with the D to, to get the offense the ball. So I think it's a group effort. Izzy has just been phenomenal. Um, and, you know, she's just really fearless. Uh, you know, whenever we need her, she's there. And, um, you know, I think that we have a host of other players that, can step up as well yeah and you talk about the group as a whole and you know you sort of look at also the way you recruit and Izzy you know be an example of that coming from Michigan and also with Gilbert from Oregon and then I think it was McComb from Texas as well you've got some different parts of the country on that roster you know that sort of to me sticks out a lot you know what goes behind that you know we've always had that as our philosophy yeah. Um, you know, we've always tried to kind of think outside the box and get kids that really fit our system and, and fit who we are as people. And, you know, we're not afraid to take a chance on someone from a non-traditional lacrosse area. And, you know, we are a non-traditional lacrosse area in the Midwest and, and we try to embrace that. And, you know, we, we have we have stars from all over. Mm, it probably helps some of those athletes. You have that little chip and motivation on their shoulder as well. They come in with something to prove as well. I've, I've kind of felt that from Izzy in the conversation I've had with her at the same time at the same time, just to use an example of her again. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that as as a program, we've always kind of had that chip on our shoulder. You know, we're off the East Coast where they, you know, look traditional hotbeds are so we want to kind of prove that you know the midwest and beyond can can be powerhouses and you know i think charlotte north is another example of that um you know she's done a, a tremendous job from texas as well yeah uh, and then you look at you go to syracuse and megan carney who's her and she's another texas player but that does you know transition into syracuse of course um i wanted to ask you about gary gate i, I mean i know you guys have had run-ins in the tournament in the past and someone you played for as he was an assistant in maryland does any of that come back a little bit you know for i know you're trying to stay focused on the team but i'm sure some of those memories uh you know do come back this time of year if you know with these matchups in mind 
Yeah, I mean, I, I have the ultimate respect for Gary. He is um, one of the most creative lacrosse minds in the game and, and um, just always thinking and improving and figuring out ways to be better. And, you know, that's that's probably my biggest takeaway from playing for him. Hmm. Um, I learned how to kind of have that creative mind and evaluate things and, and um, you know, mesh that with who I am. And, you know, in terms of the rivalry, I think our players feel that rivalry. I'm sure the Syracuse players do as well. Um, you know, we've, we've played in 2019, we played twice. Um, and, uh, you know, last year we also played before the stoppage uh, for COVID. So we have a, a tremendous rivalry over the years. And I think uh, all the players are, you know, really excited for the opportunity. Yeah, and looking ahead, you know, obviously to this weekend and thinking about the, your season, you know, as a whole, and, and you look at an undefeated team, and I always get curious about teams that go undefeated into these high-pressure atmospheres. And, you know, what I've learned from talking to coaches and athletes is that a loss teaches you a lot. You didn't really have that loss. Have there have been moments this season, though, that you've used to sort of say, okay, this is the lesson we need to learn. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think had learning lessons all season long and you know we haven't played our best at certain moments and you know we've walked away where you know we still won the game but we felt like we could improve in different areas and we've been continuing to kind of um, mesh and meld what we we do best so I, I think this is a very unique year with us playing conference only and um, you know not having the opportunity to play you know, some of the perennial powers. Um, so this is really, I think, our opportunity. And, and uh, you know, why wouldn't you get excited for that? Yeah, and it does feel like you guys do have that on switch, that when you say let's go, you do go. I mean, there were some times I'm watching games, I'm like, whoa. You know, you, you look down, you look back up, you go, what just happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that sort of a feel that sometimes you sort of have to push a little extra and you see that come out? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think that, you know, when the chemistry starts flowing, mm. it, tough to stop the group and um when they start feeling it and you know sometimes it takes it, it, we win in different ways and that's what we've talked about uh we're okay with that we're okay with winning in different ways and um you know sometimes it takes a little bit to figure the other team out and and um so you know we we just go out there to try to give our best and and hopefully gain some momentum and and if we can do that we keep it rolling it's going to be a fun matchup for sure coach we appreciate you taking the time to chat with us and good luck this weekend congratulations on the great season so far absolutely thanks so much go cats